Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. And in this tutorial session, I will tell you about the conversion of a jar application into the Mac OS X application. If you want to convert your jar into Mac OS X application, I will tell you how you can do it in a easy way. You don't need any third party software and you don't need any script to write. We will do with the help of universal Java application stuff. This is already available on GitHub. Yes, I found this thing on a GitHub. So we will follow all the process. I tried this way and successfully converted my jar file into a Mac application and which is running very successfully and without using any third party script and without using any software. Uh, guys, I have created the app package with completely manual process and all these steps I will describe you in this tutorial session one by one. Before starting, I would like to say thanks to the creator of universal Java application stuff that I found on the GitHub. And guys, it is actually an awesome bass executable script that helps to launch a jar file in a Mac OS X environment. I will describe all the stuff step by step. Let's get started. Before going into the step one, we have to know some prerequisite input files to so make a checklist for that. So I'm showing you what files are required for that so right now on my uh, desktop you can see this is a working folder now i'm taking you inside this working folder and here you can see we have these files the first one info.plist file and there's a one app.icns file which is the application icon and then we have one jar file so guys info.plist file you don't need to worry to, uh, for the creation of this I have given the download link in the description of this tutorial so go there and just download this file and paste it in your working folder and guys for the app.icns so select any image of your choice or you can get any icns file from the net and let me show you the information about this icns file or you can create a custom icns file from the internet by giving the dimension 32 by 32 so we are using this dimension icns file for this application after that we have the one jar file so this jar file uh, this is executable jar file and uh, this is the main target we are going to convert this uh, into a app so whenever we launch our mac app so this jar will be executed so this is the core component so just put it in a working folder and uh, this is the supporting library file. This is my previous uh, JavaFX tutorial example. So I am using the same example here. So this is a Medusa level gauge example. And this is the Medusa 8.3 supporting jar. And this is the uh, Medusa gauge. Uh, once I double click on this Medusa level gauge dot jar. So this stage will appear. And after conversion of the Mac application, we will hit our dot app application and this should be execute. So guys, these uh, are the input files and on the right hand side we have another file. So don't bother about right now. I will tell you what is it in the steps when we start. So we are good to go with our input files. Now we are going to uh, start with the step one. So I'm closing this working folder right here and going to the back here in this agenda file with the step one. So with the step one guys, you have to download a universal Java application a stop. This is a bash executable and that helps your jar files to execute in the Mac OS X environment. So guys, the link is given in the description. Just copy that link and open your favorite browser and paste in the address bar. So here we go. This is uh, the Chrome browser and uh, this is uh, the address bar and I have pasted. Now you will be landed on this page. This is the download page from where you will get your universal Java application stuff. Now go to this green button, click once, and the right hand side you will see the download zip. Click once on it, and a one zip file will start downloading. 
once the downloading is finished so place it here uh, in your working folder so this is the file in which we will find our universal java application and stuff so guys just do a double click on it and the folder will be extracted go inside this folder and then go inside the src folder and here we found our universal java application stuff just copy this and bring outside and paste it a uh, one copy of uh, this and delete the rest of the things we don't further need need of these zip files and folders so i have deleted this one okay so our task completed on this uh, github we found our universal java application and stuff now we are going to move on the steps two okay now going back to the agenda file this is step two so guys we have to create the this folder structure manually so one by one we will create this folder structure and we will place uh, the files as per the instruction given in the step two so i'm putting this thing on the left hand side and uh, taking our working folder on the right hand side so we will work parallelly so you can uh, see the instructions as well okay here we go so i'm creating a new folder new app so we will work all this application work here so we will start with the very first uh, folder medusa cage dot app so we will create one folder with dot app extension so watch these steps create a new folder rename it with your application name whatever the name you want you can give it but at the last you have to put dot app just click outside and then pop up will appear you have to click on this add button once you click your application will your folder will look like this application medusa gauge now we will go in, inside do the right click click on the show package content and now create another folder contents okay good to go now we will move inside this folder and again we will create the further three more folders and one file which is info.plist file so one by one we will create all these folders the first one is java folder in which we will place our jar file and other related java stuff and this is the second folder mac os in which we will place our java application stuff that is bash executable we have downloaded from the github and this is a resources file in which we will place uh, the application icon so these three folders created now we need a info.plist file so guys uh, you will do a uh, click on the link given in the description download that info.plist and copy info.plist and come inside this application inside the contents and paste it here now the structure is completed as described in the step 2 we have these four uh, info.plist uh, the file and other three folders so we have completed our step 2 now we're moving on the step 3 so guys uh, the step 3 is uh, the instruction to download the info.plist file that we have already covered with the step 2 so you don't need to worry we have already com completed this step 3 with this step 2 okay now we uh, good to go with this step 4 so what we have to do we have to copy the universal java application stub and that from the download location to inside this mac os folder now go back as you can see from the initial step we have uh, copied our universal java application stub here so we will copy this and we will go inside the application inside the contents then mac os and paste it here okay so we have completed this step four now we will complete this step five so for the step five we have to uh, place a icns file which is the icon file for our application as i have told you you can create or you can directly download from the internet or you can use it okay going back to 
get an icon so this is my icon now I'm going to copy this one and now moving inside the application resources folder now paste it here I hope all these steps are clear to you these are very simple and now guys uh, we will uh, move on the step 6 in the step 6 we will place our Java application which is uh, the Java executable file and the other supporting files or Java content inside this Java folder so we have these uh, two things one uh, executable jar file and the supporting jar so we are going inside the application and this is Java folder now I'm pasting here okay guys it's done so we have uh, completed all the step from 1 to 6 and all the stuff are placed at their target location right now uh, this is not showing uh, the icon file that we have placed the resources folder we will set it later now we will uh, see on the step 7 what is the most important thing so here we have to open the info.plist file in edit mode then we will do some changes inside that file and we will update the main class file name which is the starting point of the application so guys uh, go inside the contents do the right click open in the text edit or you can open in the Xcode as well now this is the info.plist file so okay so go to add this key uh, JVM main class name guys this class name is a starting point of your application is the main class name so if you are using a jar so you have to go inside the meta.inf file and there you will uh, know which class is the main class for your application so you can download a Java decompiler if you don't know if you are using any third party jar so uh, you can go here and uh, open in the Java decompiler and paste the manifest.mf and you will see this property so this is the starting point of application medusa level gauge dot medusa level gauge application this is the main class file for my application in your case you have to find out the main class and you have to replace the class at this place so this is the most important thing you have to do otherwise your application will not work put your classified class name with the package name the first is a medusa level gauge is a package dot class name medusa level gauge so in this way you have to place it and the one important thing uh, you have to change the bundle name because uh, whatever your application name you have to place here in this uh, key uh, cf bundle name and the corresponding value is uh, the name of your application so right now you can see on the top there is a medusa gauge application and the name is here so we have to put the similar name on that place as well then your application will reflect the icns file otherwise it will show you another error yeah now you can see uh, once we have made the same name on both places now this is reflecting the av6 icns file icon on the application and guys uh, one important thing cf bundle icon file whatever the icon you are using you have to give the name at right this place so a double p is the name of the icon that i have used in this application the cf bundle uh, get info string is once uh, you do a right click and once you will check about the information of this application so this uh, small window will appear and at right this place uh, the name the version whatever the name that name will appear here so right now it is a mismatch because uh, we have created this uh, from the scratch so we have to give the name of our application the same name as the bundle identifier name is so medusa gauge is our application the same name we are applying here okay so we have saved the file and uh, we have already updated the main class name in this info.plist now we are ready to run this everything is done 
properly and uh, now the time to test this application okay S simply do a double click on this application and you will see the icns the icon is appearing in the dock and now here is our stage a java application is launched successfully as well as you can see on here on the uh, the apple menu the name of the application is reflecting there this is uh, running without any error this is perfectly fine you can see this is my the javafx application and the tutorial for this i have already posted on my youtube channel now again uh, going to run this you can see the launch is successful in the first launch it, it will take a few more seconds than the second launch so guys uh, it's uh, done and uh, application is working fine the conversion is successful and this conversion is more easy than the previous one conversion and this is more reliable because it is independent of the java 6 7 or 8 so whatever the java version you are using in your uh, uh, mac os x you don't need to worry it will work for uh, the every environment of java on your mac so i have uh, gone through the the repository github you also can visit the repository and you can read more about this universal java application and stuff you can uh, open in edit mode this thing and you can uh, look at the code as well so guys uh, this is the process you can convert the java jar into a mac os x application i hope you guys found this video useful please like this tutorial and guys please subscribe and i appreciate our work and if you want the notification of uh, the latest tutorials so please uh, hit the bell icon and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help